So today I want to share some tips to really help the home service business attract and gain more uh, loyal local customers through online marketing. So if you are a garage door um, repair company, you own a window treatment company, uh, pest control company, if, if you're in the home and, and you're helping out the homeowner uh, with a service, then these tips are for you. If not, then please share this uh, video or blog post with them. Uh, number one is you want to be able to gain the trust of the customer. It used to be that people would just get a phone number and call them. Now they're doing a little bit of research. Who's coming in my home? Uh, who will be there uh, when my when I'm away and my wife is at home and vice versa? You know, people want to know who is going to be coming in the door. So on your website, you can have different credentials. Whether you're part of the uh, good contractors list, the Better Business Bureau, um, all these different things that give. Uh, the consumer some warm and fuzzies. Uh, also, when you share some of your knowledge with people, that helps to gain trust and that they have an expert uh, in their home and not just somebody that they found online. So, so be sure that your online presence really matches what you do uh, in real life and you really want to gain um, the trust of your consumer and as we go through this list uh, you'll I'll, I'll put together some ways that you can really hammer that home and number two in in it also goes with building trust is you really want to get uh, the people who are on your teams uh, on camera on Facebook you know on your website especially your about us to really tell a story of the of the owners and the people um, who work for you because I've said this for years people do not want to do business with a brand or a truck uh, Or a logo people do business with people and so celebrate birthdays celebrate uh, year anniversaries uh, You know with a you know either a short video or just a post uh, Celebrating that person on Facebook get your team in the forefront because if people love your team They'll refer you and they'll keep to you keep using you so keep these little milestones in mind if it, again if it's someone's birthday celebrate that and say hey we really appreciate all the hard work you've been doing blah 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 uh, number three is you have to start obtaining reviews so Google reviews Facebook reviews Yelp reviews uh, again I've said this before too is that people don't care about what you say you're going to do people care about what you've done so you have to put together a resume if you will of past customers who absolutely love your service now this may go against uh, some mythology out there but I would much rather you have 10 five-star stories about cu from customers who are over the moon about your services than a hundred just three or four stars with no story what I mean is whenever you're done with a job and someone pulls you aside and they're just like wow this was way better than I thought or this is way cheaper than I thought or you don't understand what this means to me and my family because you just fixed my AC unit and I'm having family in town and you just saved the day those kinds of stories will resonate with people more than just a three-star click-through they did a decent job so don't necessarily ask your whole client customer base for a referral but definitely tap into the ones that you know you crushed it for uh, number four be responsive and transparent and so in today's marketplace not having an online marketing strategy or just not having an online presence it it basically poses question marks in potential customers why don't they have a Facebook page why don't they have a website what are they trying to hide just by simply having these pieces in place lets people know that you're transparent and that you're um, you're accessible and so and also if they see that you reply back to comments if they see your little badge on Facebook that you reply back to messages quickly then they know that you're responsive no one wants to do business with a company that where they ask them a question and they're not they're gonna get uh, they're not gonna get back to them in a timely manner so when you can show these things again it goes into that trust equity bank if you will and more and more people will start to refer your business 
Number five is you want to be seasonal with your tips. So if it's winter time and you are a plumber, you want to give tips on how to protect your pipes, whether it's indoors, whether it's outdoors. Uh, if you're a lawn care company and we're in the dog days of summer, what are some things that people can do to protect their foundation, to, pr to, to pr protect their yard, um, you know, things of that nature. So really think about what role your business plays what season we're in so you know again if you're um a, a company that uh, helps with uh, garage doors and it's it's cold you may have some tips to help it from sticking or freezing and things of that nature i say that because that's happened to me before so i know um with the, the perils of, of that so think about your business and what kinds of tips can you give for the homeowner to uh you know to match that season again the more that you help people, the more they trust you. That's why we, um, you know, admire teachers, and that's why we admire coaches and things of that because they're good at educating people and teaching people. So be a teacher. You'll gain the trust. Show up your team. Build those reviews and uh, watch your home service business grow. Again, if you uh, know a home business owner who would really benefit from these tips, please share this with them. And I appreciate you watching.